favorite. Now, listen, now this book right here, okay, when I first <laughs> read this book, it was just so loaded, so good. Uh, I literally read, I think, it from cover to cover in a matter of like two days. What's up, guys? Hey, family, family. My name is Samantha Grimes, and you're watching Samantha Grimes TV, a place dedicated to the total woman. All right, family, do me a favor. If you like natural hair care content, motivational content, recipes, and just everything dedicated to your inward spiritual health as well as your outward health, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. And if you've already done that, then hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. All right, family, family. So today is a very, very fun video because today we are discussing five books that I believe will transform your spiritual life. Now, listen, number one, I want to say that the most transformational book of your life is the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. But I believe that the Lord uh, creates inspired writers and teachers and just people of faith who God has given them a, a special revelation, a special concept, um, a special way of looking at things that can really help transform your walk, your journey, can even lead you into supernatural encounters. And so listen, I'm going to give you five books that have blessed me over the period of my life, not my whole life, but a period of my saved life, okay? Now, these books are not books that I've read necessarily necessarily recently. Um, some of them I have, some of them I haven't, but in my journey uh, of my spiritual life, they have been impactful. They have shifted my perspective. They have inspired me. Some of them I read, I go back to and reread and reread and reread and reread because it, it, I, I can never get enough of that perspective and that revelation. So yeah, I'm giving you five books that I believe will transform your spiritual life. <laughs> All right, family. So number one, now, I already said this is the most important book you'll ever read in your life. You should always be reading it. And that is the Holy Bible. Hallelujah. You can read the message. You can read the New Living Translation. You can read um, King James Version. You can read um, the Amplified. Whatever works for you works for you, okay? But the Word of God is and always will be the most powerful book you'll ever read. It is supernaturally inspired. It is written and inspired by the Holy Spirit. It is the only book that you will have to ever read with the author present, hallelujah. And so, yeah, this book is, uh, is powerful. To this day, when the Word of God is being read, it is... It, it lights a fire on the inside of me, okay? It is truth. It is the way that we, in which we live. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to figure out how to do something, go to the Word of God. If you want to figure out how to live, go to the Word of God. If you want to be more integral, go to the Word of God. If you want to be a better mother, a better father, a better parent, a better woman, a better, go to the Word of God. It will transform you from the inside out. It is something that you can forever eat on. You can read certain stories in the Bible and read them a thousand times to get a, thou a thousand different things every single time you read them. It will never grow old. It will never grow uh, unfiery. Hallelujah. The word of God is, is, is truth. It is necessary in the life of the believer. So if I want to say a book that transforms my walk and my life as a believer, it is the word of God. All right, family. So number two, it is a book called Lead Me Holy Spirit by Stormy O. Martin. Now, this book is very, very near and dear to my heart because this was the very first book that I ever read as a believer. Um, I remember um, I was uh, doing a Daniel fast. It was like around January. I was I was giving God a try, as we would say. And so um, I was doing the fast and I would read a passage of scripture and then I would read a, a, a few pages or a chapter in this book. And this book really taught me foundationally about the Holy Spirit, how the Holy Spirit is a person, how the Holy Spirit is is our friend, how he lives on the inside of us, how to how to work with him, you know. And this this book um, had prayers behind each chapter. And I would pray the prayers just, you know, in faith, just to see what happened. I can't even say I had a lot of faith, you know, and I really believe, you know, the Bible is, is, is spot on when it talks about mustard seed faith, because at that time I did not have a lot of faith, but I guess it was enough <laughs> because it led me into a supernatural encounter. And it was the encounter that I, I, I encountered the, 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 Jesus. I encountered the Lord for the very first time and it changed me. It transformed me. It, it, it inspired me. It, it, 
<laughs> and after that, I was a goner. I was I was never going back to the life I was living before. Um, I was I was a new woman. So I highly, highly recommend this book. If you uh, want to know more about the Holy Spirit, you want to get closer to the Holy Spirit, you want to understand how that whole dynamic works. Um, if you feel like you've never really gotten proper teaching, I highly, highly, highly recommend this book. Okay, so number three is a fan favorite. Now listen, now this book right here. Okay, when I first <laughs> read this book, it was just so loaded, so good. I literally read, I think it from cover to cover in a matter of like two days. Um, or so um, it was it was just so powerful to me that the testimonies in the book the prophetic inspiration in this book um, it is a book called the intercessory handbook by Jennifer Evas listen I recommend this book to every body okay this woman has broken down uh, encounters has broken down um, perspectives of ways of praying at levels you can reach in prayer that that you know I don't hear talked about too too much but uh, yes it is it is powerful I highly recommend that she is a prophet Jennifer Evas and so um, she has a lot of prophetic encounters throughout her uh, her prayers even when she goes places in her, in, and is being asked to pray um, on stage or over people or whatever she has like supernatural angels I mean I, I don't want I don't want to spoil it for you but please 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 go go check out this book the intercessors handbook by Jennifer Evas. so number four Number one, the author of this book is Dr. Cindy Trim. Dr. Cindy Trim has got to be one of my favorite people on the planet. Okay, uh, when I say this woman of God, it's not much uh, literature, not much speaking, not much of anything that I do not like or subscribe or are or, or interested in. She is a powerful, powerful, powerful uh, life strategist, powerful um, uh, coach, uh, teacher, uh, writer, uh, all of it she's an powerful amazing woman and this book right here i think was one of her beginning like back in the day dr cindy trim uh stuff and um this book right here really broke down the spiritual realm it really broke down how to understand the power of your words you know what i'm saying um how to speak over your life how to speak over your destiny how to speak over your future how to speak over yourself what not to say even when you're going through a difficult moment how to talk about it so you're not cursing yourself and speaking negative things over yourself. I mean, this book is teaching you how to command your morning, how to take authority, how to take dominion, how to walk in power and be the, the royal, the son, the daughter, the king, the queen that God has ordained us to be from the foundations of the earth. Now, this is one of the books that like I read and I will go back and read again. Read and will go back and read again. And the beauty about this book is this book is not necessarily lengthy. And I, I've just learned a lot of times when you have a really good content, you don't necessarily need 75 chapters to get it out. You know what I'm saying? She has like eight chapters in this book and they're eight loaded chapters. Okay. In each chapter, I mean, they, they're breaking it down with such ease. It's almost taking very intense, very um, uh, complex uh, perspectives and breaking them down into an easy, a, a five-year-old could understand. So I highly recommend this book, Commanding Your Morning by Dr. Cindy. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> number five is Without Rival by Lisa Bevere. Now listen, Lisa Bevere is a phenomenal, she's one of the fiercest preachers I've ever, I've ever uh, seen and encountered, and she is a phenomenal writer. Um, I mean like the quality of the content of her books. Like, I can't say her books are short, but they're also not necessarily too long. Um, her books are just so loaded with the word of God. Like when you read a few chapters of her book, you've also felt like you've read the Bible, okay? Because she has so much scripture to back up what she is saying. Like she is literally teaching in the book. So take a sermon or take something that is really meaty and, and, and now think about it being uh, uh, put into this, uh, into, into something that you can read. Um, the book is called Without Rival. It's really tackling and dealing with the, uh, the the aspect of us being uniquely loved by God. You know, we have this, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but we have a perspective. You know, God loves all people. He does love all people, but he doesn't love all people the same. He loves us all uniquely. And she goes into the depths of that. She, she, she deals with like 
biblical stories that you don't hear about very often. I mean, it's been stories she's talked about in her books that I'm like, this is in the Bible? Like, because it's one of them like scriptures or books that, you know, kind of gets passed over very quickly. Um, but it's it's a powerful story. Um, she's a great and powerful champion for women in ministry, women preachers. Um, so yeah, this it's a powerful book. I highly, highly recommend it. It's called Without Rival by Lisa Fubi. All right, family, thank you, thank you so, so much for watching. Those are my five book recommendations for this video. Listen, if there's anything that you wanna see me talk about that you can see is clearly within my niche, or maybe you want some more uh, details or maybe in another video that I've created in the past, um, be, please feel free to write me in the comments, um, or you can follow me on my social media pages and you can DM me there. Um, Family, I love you guys. Do me a favor and like, 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 like this video as well as hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you do not miss any future uploads. All right, family, if you want to follow me or if you want to book a session, those uh, social media uh, tags and website link will be right behind this clip. All right, family, talk soon.